shout out to all my Yoru mains. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chase and some of you know me as Cybreeds. Today we'll be talking about communication in Valorant. Today we'll be talking about the radio menu index and the radio command wheel used in Valorant. Now, before we hop in game and I show you how to set up your radio command wheel index and menu index, I wanna go over a couple important topics that will help you hit radiance on your journey. Number one, coordination and strategy. Communication allows you to strategize with your team before the round begins. You can go over sight takes, rushing, setting up crossfires and more. It'll be very important to be an open mind while you play this game, listening to your teammates as well as voicing what you have to say to make the games easier. Number two, information sharing. You can go over where people are rotating, what utility has been used. The game is always changing and you need to react dynamically. So make sure to share as much information as possible at a consistent but clear pace. Number three, economy management. This allows teams to discuss their buy and save rounds. Is the enemy team on an eco round? Should you play more passive or aggressive depending on what guns they have on the field? Do they have enough money for an operator? Coordinate this before, during, and after the round for maximizing impact. Number four, ultimate management. Coordinating ultimate abilities can change the tide of the round. Use them, that's what they're for. You can farm the ult orbs in game or get a kill or die once and you will get one ult point. These are round securing abilities. They're crucial, use them, you'll get another one. Number five, mental support. Positive communication fosters a supportive environment in this game. We all have had toxic teammates, we've had AFK teammates, but you can be the deciding factor to becoming a positive mental player inside the game. Stay focused, stay motivated, and even during challenging moments, this might be the win condition that your team needs from that 9-3 curse. Number six, adaptability. Communication in a team will allow strategic changes before, during, and after the round. You never know what's gonna happen in a game of Valorant, so being open and flexible to how the game is played will allow you and your team to win more rounds. Try it out, communicate positively, and you'll be surprised at how many more rounds you will win. Number seven, conflict resolution. Clear communication helps your team get to the winning line faster. It prevents potential disasters and disruptions or distractions that will happen throughout the game. We've all had toxic teammates banter in our ears. You can mute them, but you can also be the deciding factor into boosting the team's morale. Try to resolve a solution. Do you want to go to the A site, the B site, or the C site? Do you have a plan that you can coordinate with your team that will make the round easier to win? Try it out. Number eight, building trust and chemistry with your team. This can be done in the pre-round, the buy phase, mid-round, or after. Always saying, nice round, good job, nice attempt, etc., etc. This will boost your team's chemistry and trust with you as a potential IGL, in-game leader. Now, do you make small talk with your team? Maybe they're receptive to this or they're not. Try it out and see what works in your games. Building trust is key. This is a team game. Number nine, shot calling and leadership. IGLing, otherwise known as in-game leading, is a key part in Valorant. Effective communication allows you to be the leader in the rounds. You can make decisions for your team where players will back you up with utility use, trade you out and get round winning kills. It's vital that you communicate as much as possible, but in a clear and precise manner so that you are not annoying your teammates, but you're providing vital information to them. 
Maybe you're asking a duo player or one of your teammates to set up a stun for you or a flash, and this could be the round winning kill that you need to take your team to victory. Try it out. Finally, number 10, review and analysis. If you record your games, you can listen back to how you communicated. Was it passive aggressive? Was it positive? Was it distracting? Post round analysis will allow you to self improve as well as see how the other players on your team react to what you're doing. Do you need to focus more on the game or do you get sidetracked with typing in chat when the round's happening? There's all these small things adding up that will allow you to study and improve upon yourself as a player. Valorant is about continuous growth and skill development as a player in order to climb the ranks. Continue to VOD review yourself and you'll see yourself improve over time. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go into game and I'll show you how to set up the team communication comm wheel index to allow you to communicate better to your teammates if they choose not to use the microphone. All right, now that we are in game, I can show you all how to set up the team communication comm wheel index. First, you can do this in the main menu or in game. I'm just showing you in game because it's easier. You're going to hit escape, go to controls right here at the very top, go to communication. Now your binds might look different than mine because I've changed this to my 60% keyboard. What you're gonna wanna do is controls, communication, scroll down to about the middle of the page, and the first option is radio command menu. I bound this to period, and then you're gonna set the other one to radio command wheel index. I change this one to comma, period and comma. Changes to whatever you want that's comfortable for you, that's easy to access. What these look like is, if I hold comma, and I can use my mouse to scroll around different options of what I wanna communicate. So if I scroll up, it'll be social menu. If I scroll down, it's back to the middle option. Or if I scroll all the way down, it's strategy. And you can see that at the bottom of the wheel. This allows you to make quick little plays. So maybe pre-round, I'll go going B. Going B. And then play for picks or rush them. Play for picks. Rush them. Now, without even voicing on the microphone, your team knows, let's go B. Let's play for picks or we can rush them. This is how I open up the team communication box in the bottom right. I'm hitting period on my keyboard. And I want to do the same strategy, going B, rush them, and play for picks. So I would hit period four, going B, going B, and then do the same option again, play for picks. Play for picks. And then maybe combat. Uh, let's do need support. I need backup. And then the round begins. Now, say the round is already happening and they stalled you tremendously well on the B site. Well, you can either communicate in game on the mic or open up your wheel and then all of a sudden you can change your play style around the comm wheel and hope that your team follows through. So, we started B, let's do this. Watching here, rotating, going A, rush them. Here's a little tip as well. If you go to options, control, and then ping, ping wheel hold right here under controls, communication, I bound mine to middle mouse button, ping, tap, wheel hold. This comes up right here. And if I hold middle mouse and scroll up, it's caution. Careful here. If I hold middle mouse and go to the right. Watching here. Watching here. If I middle mouse and scroll down. I need backup. I need backup or right here. Middle mouse and scroll left. On my mark. It does a timer. So say I'm playing back sight of B here. right here, and I need backup. I need backup. Well, I can do this. Or if I'm playing like a cross with my teammate, right here. Watching here. They'll know that I'm watching this spot, rather than being, hey team, I'm in game. I'm watching this spot. Everyone's thinking about stuff so fast in this game. The ping can save your teammates a bunch of time by making the information very quick and precise. 
I need backup. On my mark. Careful here. So what if you're spotting for information? Well, careful here. You now know. You can do the same thing uh by opening up your main map with M and then left clicking and doing up, down, left, right, depending on where you need help. So say I spot people, B main. Well, open up my map, B main. I need backup. On my way. Careful here. Let's go here. Very useful. So Let's do a quick recap of where all this information can be found. Escape, controls, communication, and scroll down about halfway and you will see three different options. The ping tap, ping wheel hold under the pings option. I bound mine to middle mouse. Radio command menu index to period and radio command wheel index to comma. Bind these to what's comfortable for you. Access them as easy as possible. What those look like is this. Middle mouse, caution, watching area, need support on my mark. If I hold comma, I get my mouse wheel. If I go up on my scroll wheel, it's social. If I go back to the middle, this is the default starting spot. If I go down, it's strategy. Stay quiet. Going B. Fall back. Same exact thing if I... Click period, communication in the bottom right corner of your screen. You'll see combat, tax, tactics, social, and strategy. I need backup. Stay quiet. Not bad. Going mid. I hope these tips and tricks help you on your climb to Radiant and Valorant. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if these tips and tricks helped you. I will see you in the next video and have an amazing day. Peace.